zero carb carnivore grocery haul and guys by all means do i wish i could go to a supermarket and get all the food i needed at a reasonable price surprisingly my local supermarket does have some grass-fed lamb certain cuts of grass-fed beef at pretty low prices per pound but i really kind of search far and wide and go to different purveyors to get all of my food so this is stuff i've accumulated over the past few days and i'll kind of explain where i got everything uh, as we go through it so this is my downstairs garage fridge where I keep most of the meat. Um, at the top here, I have some New York strips that are coated in beef fat. I'll show you guys how I do that. And they're just going to kind of dry age for 30, 45 days. I don't really know. Uh, the rest of this is just slabs of lamb fat. And this lamb fat is trimmed off of the lamb chops at my local supermarket. Sometimes they even give this to me for free. So. Uh, that's where a bulk of my calories come from. Uh, in this drawer here, I have uh, just another ribeye primal. Uh, and the reason I still have this in the cryovac is because I might be eating this raw. Uh, and I don't like drying out the surface and because then it gets kind of like eating the raw meat with the dried surface doesn't taste too good. And here I have this is uh, Wagyu, Australian Wagyu from Diamantina, I believe. I don't rem I think this is like beef coulette. I don't remember the cut, but this was around $7 a pound. This is just some cryo-backed Wagyu beef. I have a bunch of them in here. I got like five or six of these in here. Probably like 10 pounds, 15 pounds of Wagyu. So the Wagyu, the ribeye, the strips, those were all from a local specialty foods purveyor that I have a license with in New York City. Uh, roughly, I think the strips were like six ninety a pound. The ribeye were like seven something. These were seven something. Uh, the lamb fat was from the local supermarket. That was, I mean, I either pay a dollar a pound or they give it to me for free. Most of the time, the lamb fat, if it sits in the fridge for two three weeks, it stays pretty much the same. Once the lamb fat's in there for like three weeks, four weeks. It starts getting really, really funky, getting a little mold, becoming really umami and fermented flavors. Uh, some of you guys might think of it as high meat. Uh, but that's all I have down here. Uh, let's go upstairs and I'll show you guys what else I have. This is what I do with the primals if I want them to like stay soft on the inside. So the surface is going to dry out if you don't coat them with beef fat. What this does is it not only makes the primal easier to cut, you, you don't really have to cut away any waste. I mean, you don't have to cut waste away anyway, but if you're dry aging the steak for more than like 30 days, it, it definitely gets very hard on the outside and you have to cut some away. So in this pot is just melted beef fat and it's at a pretty, it's at a pretty low temperature. It's just, it's just warm enough for it to be liquid so I could spread it easily. And then when I put the beef fat on the cold meat, it will solidify almost immediately. I just want to make sure I get all the nooks and crevices pretty well. In addition to covering these with fat, you could use like, like black peppercorn is a natural deterrent for flies. So if it was, if it was summer right now, I'd probably put a bunch of black peppercorn on the outside of this just in case a fly or two gets in the fridge. But the main reason I do this is so when I go to cut it, it's not like cutting through, you know, a rock. It, it's very difficult to cut through uh, the dry beef fat. I saw someone online, I saw them do this with butter. I mean, I don't see why you, you can't use any other type of fat for this. Uh, of course, I mean, I prefer the grass-fed beef fat. You know, what's the point of putting, you know, some high omega-6 fat on my meat? I mean, this will, this fat will cook off regardless when we actually go to cook these steaks. I don't usually keep any of my stuff in this upstairs fridge. Maybe if it's like some meat I'm going to eat over the next day or two. But today I actually do have some stuff that's mine in here. And not really some stuff, but I got two things in here. Uh, th this is flounder roe. Uh, this one is so much darker because I salted it. Uh, but... This is just the regular flounder row. I bought like 10 pounds worth of skines from 
the new Fulton Fish Market for like $2 a pound. Uh, separated them. It pretty much just looks like pudding. Uh, but the row I use is my primary like organ meat source right now for nutrition. Very high in DHA, very high in fat type of vitamins, all of them A, D, E, K, B, C, very high in vitamins. Uh, that's what I've been using right now. Uh, the salted stuff is a little too salty. I'm probably going to actually have to go down and buy some more. Uh, that, that's like a bulk thing though. Usually you have to order like a few hundred dollars worth of fish and then he delivers that with whatever else I ask him for. Uh, here I just have some, some beef fat in, in a big pot. I got some more on the stove over there melting down. Uh, I was using this for, as you guys saw, coating the primals. And I also might have to use this for pemmican down the line. I got four big jars of beef fat right now. This is a tallow, rendered tallow from grass-fed beef fat. But I don't really eat that. I just use it to cook with. I might have to, I might make some pemmican, as I said, in the future for, uh, as a preserved food that I could have. This is just one of the ribeye primals, uh, part of one of them that I was eating over the past few days. This is just the, the rest of the beef fat that I was rendering for uh, the tallow. Uh, one of the salts I use, a Fleur du Sel de Garand, uh, finishing salt. Here I have my other salt. It's just a, a Celtic sea salt, eating Celtic salt. Uh, and then I just have a little thing of fish raw I was gonna eat later. Um, if you guys want to get like any of these salts or anything, they're on my Amazon shop, I believe, under the salt and seasoning section. I mean, that's really it, guys. Just a bunch of like steaks, uh, some of that Wagyu, and then I just got the lamb fat as my source of fat. That's all I'm really eating. I'm waiting on getting some lamb liver and some liver uh, that I can eat and then make into high liver over the next few days. So that's the only thing I'm really missing that I still need to get. But outside of that, just to go over everything, I think I could get the invoice from the meat purveyor down here, but uh, I think I got like around 50 pounds of meat for around $370. I think that's what I ended up buying. Uh, very, very affordable in the context of, you know, that's probably gonna feed me for a month, so to speak. And then maybe I'll spend a few dollars extra here and there. I didn't show you guys, in my fridge I also had, I have some raw grass-fed cream. Uh, but this is for my grandma. I'm going to bring this down to her. I can't eat this, but uh, I had this delivery come yesterday from, uh, uh, just guys, check out realmilk.com if you're interested in local, high-quality, raw, grass-fed dairy. I think I've showed you guys everything that I'm, I've been eating that I'm going to eat over the next month or so. I know it's not too exciting. Uh, but if you guys would like to support me, please just share the video. If you guys would like to reach out to me for consultations, whether it's, hey, I could help you guys out with food sourcing if you want, uh, just kind of pursuing all your local options and trying to figure out where you can get certain things. Like obviously, I mean, fish row is from one type of place, liver might be from a different place. Um, and there, you know, there are places online you can buy stuff, but for me, sourcing it fresh, as high quality as possible is at least important to me. Uh, but again, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you guys would like to see uh, you know, these types of videos in the future and kind of maybe uh, I could throw some other stuff in there as well.